One million. What comes to mind when you hear one million? One million is roughly how many miles I've traveled on the road with my family in a vehicle that's five times smaller than the average prison cell. And yet no one has gone to prison. <laughs> Could you imagine being cooped up in a vehicle with your family for a million miles? Think of all the places you could go, the people you could meet, and the experiences you could have together. When people realize how much time we spend together in such a confined space, they always want to know how we're able to stay so connected and love one another while avoiding that jail time. <laughs> <laughs> Spending so much time together really helped us understand who we are. We identified, developed, and even began to celebrate our culture. Culture is a way of life. According to Simon Sinek, culture is a group of people with a set of shared values and beliefs. And the good news, we can build these cultures without having to travel a million miles together. Now, of all the topics that we could talk about related to culture, there's one that reigns supreme. Communication. Communication is the glue that holds relationships together. Rel uh, relationships break down when communication breaks down, resulting in a toxic culture. The ability to communicate effectively is the essential component to building a healthy, thriving culture of family. Have you noticed that we're more connected to people around the world and yet more disconnected to those around our living room? So if we're going to learn to communicate effectively, we must learn to speak a new language. Did he just say learn to speak a new language? <laughs> As you probably have noticed by now, I have a pretty thick southern accent. There you go. I see some of y'all out there with a look on your face going, they really do talk like that. <laughs> well, I promise I'm going to slow down my speech just a little so you can understand what I'm saying. Now, don't get scared. Uh, remember, I'm a southerner. We like to keep things simple. So I'm going to simplify learning a new language to just two words. The first word we're going to learn is woe. You see, I'm the whoa person in our relationship. Whoa, you won't believe this idea I just had. Whoa, let me tell you about this book I just read. My wife is, she's also the whoa person, but hers is more whoa. <laughs> whoa, what do you mean you want to sell one of the kids and move us to the rainforest? <laughs> whoa. What do you mean everyone is jumping off a cliff? You see, I love a new idea. I could care less about the details. My wife is all about the details and can't love an idea until she has the details. Our daughter and youngest son, they're just like me. Our oldest son is just like my wife. This woe concept works for every relationship you have, personal or professional. So think about the people in your life. Which woe person are they? Now, we found if we're having an intense woe session with someone, that there's one word that can bring immediate calm to the situation. And that's the second word we need to learn. Process. You see, when we woed one another to death, we simply say, process. Then all communication about the topic is put on the shelf for 24 hours. This 24-hour cooling off period allows everyone time to remove their emotions and talk so we can actually communicate. When Charles Schultz created Charlie Brown, he wanted the voice of the adults to sound like what kids heard when adults spoke. And a trombone player provided us that old familiar wah-wah sound. When the Peanuts movie came out, they created a website called The Wawa Machine that would spit out any phrase in the Charlie Brown's teacher's voice. But when we don't speak the same language, our families become the Wawa Machine. Tempers flare, hearts are worn, on our shirt sleeves, and communication breaks down. We can build a healthy organizational culture just like we can build a healthy family culture. Do you know someone outside of your home, whether at work or in the community, where communication has dwindled to the Wawa machine? Sadly, too many of our work families function like an awkward Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, people getting dressed up to mingle with folks they don't like to begin with. They just go to make their grandparents happy. <laughs> 
The Harvard study of adult development has followed the same group of individuals since the 1930s and discovered the key to long-term health and happiness is not diet, exercise, or how many things you accumulate in a lifetime. No, it's the quality of your relationships that has the greatest impact on your life. Relationships matter. And the relationships you have with those you spend the most time with should be given the utmost care and attention. But when we don't speak the same language and we allow workplace communication to dwindle to the Wawa machine, our careers become a 30 year long, awkward Thanksgiving dinner. Learning to speak the same language like this woe process helps us build a healthy, thriving culture of family because everyone knows their opinion matters and their voice has been heard. But sadly, we all know organizations that have a toxic culture. I mean, read any business publication. 75% of people hate their job. 90% of people lack purpose or fulfillment in their career. These stats continue to climb because people feel anonymous amongst their peers and their leaders. The best business practices aren't always the best people practices. We simply can't go on this way. We need to change. We need to build a culture, a family. Look, I realize we're not all going to be, you know, we're not all going to travel a million miles together. But surely we could all agree life would be better if we communicated more effectively, valued others more deeply, connected regularly and intentionally with those that matter most. Life is too short to live disconnected. And life is too long to live disconnected. So whether your family is your spouse, your kids, your parents, your team, your church, or your community, connect with those that matter most. If we're going to build a culture of family, we have to connect. And we can't connect if we don't communicate. And look, we don't need big fancy words to communicate effectively. I mean, we're not solving a Rubik's Cube here. So two words is often all you need. Love you. Miss you. Don't worry. Be happy. Dream big. Take chances. You matter. Don't blink. Whoa, process. And finally, thank you.